Hello, welcome to November. You know how to look at last month, I told you that I would be. Uh, well, editing the October video. Well, I still am. So there you go. It's about 2am, and the thing is, the reason why I had a bit of an issue where Premiere Pro kept crashing. That's because I hadn't like, emptied the media cache and stuff like that. A friend of mine helped me fix all those issues, so now I'm back on the road to finishing and I'm just about to edit the final bit, but I, I thought I would say hello, welcome to November, it's the penultimate episode of 2016, this year has flown by, I swear. It's all done now, so without further ado, here is November. <laughs> Lewis, tell me what you found in the monthly vlog from last month. Well, when I was watching it, Connor, I noticed if you, if you look in the window, you see two bits in the middle video, in which I can't imagine what the thinking at the time. I don't, I don't know if I can actually, because I'm doing it in reverse. Uh, there they are. Okay. There they are. Cool. Well, there's that. And um, I never drew attention to it because when I was editing this, if, again, I'm, well, when you see this video, you'll see that I actually started doing the November video as soon as the October video ended, because that's how I edited this month, or last month, and uh, I never noticed it, because I was very tired when I was editing it, so, um, thank you, Lewis, for bringing the attention that, um, some girls from Derby were, um, just swearing at us, and, and they're literally laughing at us throughout the whole clip. <laughs> it's not just that one-off moment. Yeah. It's not that one-off moment. They are literally just swearing at us the whole time and also staring at us and just laughing and I don't know if they thought we were filming them or something because they were just because I mean the shot I had there was actually quite wide Alan wasn't even the central focus so I'm wondering yeah. if they thought we were doing that or something yeah. but they kept I'll be, I'll be sure to highlight them in my Oscar speech <laughs> thank you Lewis for this new update see you next month Happy cat. So another little update from me. I've been working on a little audio story actually. I know I've already mentioned like you know with two of the kinds and everything, that's an audio story, but this is actually something different. It's the detective, which I'm I don't think I mentioned that much last month, but I did the the, the year before, the month before. Um and yeah, me and Lewis have decided to do an audio for like New Year because the Christmas special is unfortunate to be shortened just a tiny bit because of uh, time constraints. So here's me editing it and here is Lewis. <laughs> and um, yeah we started coming up with like, well I think, what was it Lewis? I wrote it last night and now it's done. Yeah, yeah, we've got it done within 24 hours, which is amazing. I, if only visual episodes were the same way. Because yeah. then the whole series would be done in a week. I'm sorry, you can put your arm No, you, it's just I've decided to stare at you. Oh, um, that is your hatred. <laughs> but yeah, that's the update. Goodbye. Cat. So. Last month, I mentioned in a little bit of text that I wasn't able to properly include some of the clips that I filmed whilst at Alan's. One of them being we, myself and Alan, had a false argument with each other regarding the filming of his short film called The Date, where we had to get a two-shot because it was part of his uni assignment, which wasn't the case at all, but we faked it, and then we sent this all to our friend Lewis Wilhouse, who believed it. So, here are the clips of that. Um... It's not real. It's all fake. Um, yeah, enjoy. I didn't bring you down here so that you can have a fucking conversation with Dan, did I? Like, yeah, but it's it's it's, it's, it's it's all a bit. Of, it's no, just no, it's just a fun process. You were both laughing. We, did, we like had five minutes left for the fucking enemy, and like it's all good, isn't it? But we had to sacrifice the portion. No, I'm gonna like work with you again because you were just shit, mate. Like, <laughs> mate, come on, it's just, it's just a laugh. Mate, there's no laughing about it, mate. Like. I think it's a bit harsh to say that. I think. Oh, but, but, but it's just a bit of fun, mate. It's honestly. I mean, I mean, I mean, we got we got we got the film almost done, didn't we?
work at this place, my friend Vicky's sister getting a fucking really pissed off with us because you were being a dickhead with Dan. And like, how do you think that's going to look on me? Yeah, you and Dan being a complete... Like, mate, I, there's no reason, mate... Fucking get lost, mate. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't see why you're people. making mate. such a big, massive deal over one shot. A massive shot. fucking deal over one shot. The shot wasn't yeah, as important. Yeah, but it's important, isn't it? Because my fucking uni <laughs> work, mate. <laughs> I don't want, like, it's, like, it's just... Why are you even laughing? I Why are you laughing? It's, it's so ridiculous. Are you fucking taking this, the piss, mate? This is a ridiculous... Something? I'm not recording anything, I'm on my phone. You're holding your fucking phone in a way that you record it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, just, I'm just on my phone looking on Facebook. Mate, fucking go back to you. Why are we recording this? Go to the room I gave you while I make the dinner, I don't want to fucking talk about it. It's just one shot, we can still make the film. Can we still make the film, fuck me? It was the shot that I needed for the, the fucking assessment. I, I don't think you get that. What, what it was for the, for this, it's just a two shot. Yeah. Fucking two shot, right? Well, what did you get in uni? I got a two one. You got a two one. Yeah. Mate, I'm I'm trying for a first, right? It's shit like that that fucked you up, probably. You probably was like, oh, it's just a two shot. Well, come on, mate. Yeah. It's not it, it, like it, it wasn't anything like that. I tried my best. I had obviously you know that down period yeah. in the middle of second year. Like I. Just stop talking to me about it. Maybe that'll make me feel a bit better about it. But the way you go... No, but it's just, I, I, want the, I want the conflict to be done now. Right. I don't the want conflict. this... The is... conflict, yeah. Well, you caused the conflict when you were fucking about with Dan. You weren't thinking about the conflict. It you're making it out to be worse than it was. You're making it out to be worse than it was. It really isn't, though, is it? Because it's the fucking one shot, isn't it? A two shot, whatever the fuck is called. It's... Look, mate, it's just it was just a two shot. We can we can get we can come back from it. We you know, if we're able to get them all together you again. Know, yesterday we'll when we were talking about what we were gonna do. Yeah. And what did I say was the most important shot that we need to get? The fucking two shot. Do you know why? Why? Because my whole thing is about that two shot. And then we don't we we we, we could just reshoot. It's just simple. We got tomorrow. Mate, we can't fucking reshoot because we can't get the location again. And I'm not fucking like inviting Martin Weston to come and do whatever the fuck you lot were doing earlier. You and Dan, fucking with him, just screwing about. I just like, I can't believe you even doing that. I thought you were a serious filmmaker, mate. I'm sorry, that's why I invited you down, but obviously. It was just like, we're allowed to kick back, you know? It's a long filming day. Kick back, mate, we had like 20 minutes left. It wasn't 20 minutes. Yeah, it was. It was 20 fucking minutes, and you're fucking about with Martin Weston singing Dragon Ball. It was Dragon Force, mate. Whatever the fuck you were doing, it was just ridiculous and irritating, and I swear to God, you probably, like, I thought you were a filmmaker, not fucking singer. You... No, but, like, it's not often that, you know, it's not often that we get to, like, sit down and actually, like, chat with people and yeah. stuff like that. Mate, just shut up. Honestly, like, I'm trying to make you dinner here. Alan, can we not talk calmly mate, about this? I thought you were fucking off, mate. I don't want to talk calmly to you when you fucked up my fucking series of fucking... Jesus, shut the fuck up! Like, shut up, you know, I'm trying to fucking talk to Chadders. Because he's a fucking dickhead and he doesn't even fucking know what he's trying to fucking say, mate. Sorry. I'm Just really sorry, I can't, like, it... We've got the rest of the film. Surely the rest of the film can make up for that two shot not being there. We've got some other two shots mate, in there. fuck the two shot. Like, you just being plain fucking rude. All right, mate, I'll, like, go, I'll go back to my room, all right, then? Yeah, you can go back to your fucking room. You're being rude about everything. Pissing me off, all right? I'm sorry. I'm going to go and tell him about what you've just said, Alan? I don't even know how he works usually, but apparently it's good. Some people have actually complimented him. Alan, Alan. I've Chris Thompson, they said, what? Alan, I've spoken with Lewis. What? And he said, he, he said we could just reshoot tomorrow. Like, I've said this already. What, but like, reshoot tomorrow? Does he fucking not know that we've not got the, the place? Like, I'm sure, like, it's all good to reshoot tomorrow, but I haven't actually got the place. And, like, you don't understand, like... Reshooting this clip is just more important. Well, we could just change locations just we for that shot. <laughs> Are you okay, Alan? It wasn't just a two shot, Chaz. It wasn't just a two shot. Wasn't it? No. <laughs> Alan, please forgive me. Look, Alan, it, it was just a two shot. So yeah, we might not have any fireworks, but at least we've got some light stands. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself busy because I found myself procrastinating a lot. Like for example, I just got batteries back in the Xbox 360 controller. I've been playing that for the past two hours when I should have either been writing my essay or editing the thing for Alan. But at the same time, I have also been rendering the Waterside title cards. 
which takes 45 minutes per title card, and there's six of them. So I was able to do two last night, and I've done the rest today. So I have been kind of waiting for that, as the computer tends to freeze up when I'm doing that. I'm also going to edit the rest of the, the detective audio story, which is, you know, just little tweaks and everything like that. Got to write up articles on, um, I've got to write up and research from articles, um, stuff on Thelma and Louise 1991 title sequence, um, as well as I've got to render out two of a kind, and, well, I've done that, but I need to render it as an MP3 for my friend Lewis. As, um, let me look. <laughs> Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I've got to finish off the visual effects for the detective. Um, I've got to edit the Harmonic Alliance Pictures vlog. I've got to start editing Overlook Reimagined. I've got a lot to do, which is why this is probably going to be the most boring month. So, see you tomorrow. Hi, so it's 10 to midnight, and uh, it's been election day in America today. And. I'm gonna go and watch the election with my dad. I just thought I'd quickly document how I look before I start watching it. <laughs> Funny. And I thought I'll document it after we find out what's going on. So, um, here we go. Even though it doesn't really, it affects America mainly, it will affect the whole world. Still. So it does affect me. Here we go. This is material we're getting from exit polls taken today. So this is exit poll material that's really very fresh for you. <laughs> Six of him. It's pretty much set that Trump is going to win. He's got like 244 points out of the 270 he needs. It's pretty much set at this point. But I think it's absolutely bloody disgrace all the things he said in the past year and a half sexist racist comments and he's got the majority somehow and the worst thing is is that right i decided to cut myself off there because i got very very angry oh my god it's dark um i got very very angry whilst talking about that and i don't really think as much as i am passionate about it I don't think I'd rather like to cause an argument with anyone. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut off in mid anger for comedic effect. I've woken up half an hour ago in the morning and turned the light as night is coming. Went to bed at 6 a.m. Woke up at half three in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, this is great, isn't it? My sleeping pattern is truly messed up now. Oh. So I've just woken up. It's nearly four in the afternoon. I don't know how that's happened. I set my alarm for 11. I've slept like five hours over my alarm. See, I went to a shop recently. Finally went outside and actually did something. That's nice, isn't it? So I want to talk about The Detective very quickly, specifically Series 3, you know, the series I've been working on, with Lewis Wheelhouse. Um, that's having to be cut down, unfortunately. It was originally six episodes, however, now it is three episodes. The reason for that is because of timing issues. Timing issues being that me and Lewis are busy people. Lewis is currently, he's just premiered his new documentary called Springfield Summer Camp, which he filmed over the summer, in the cinema. And that was pr that was really cool, seeing him do that. It was awesome. Meanwhile, I've been studying, obviously, doing all the essays and also trying to finish off Time Show with Series 3, filming bits and pieces where people need me. And I've also got visual effects and stuff to do for the detective and everything like that. And basically, in a nutshell, we've run out of time. The Christmas special's coming out in just over a month. And so far, only half of one scene is filmed for that. And that is not good. So we've made that an audio story. It means we can record all of our lines for that within the week. Which is great. And then I can edit it, put it all together, etc. You know, and it'll be done. Something's going to happen now. Basically, we've got all the behind the scenes for the date, so I'm going to make that into like a little promo thing, because originally I, I, I didn't film a lot on my camera really, and the stuff you saw last month for the date was mainly from my camera, and it was mainly setting up shots and everything, whereas this is actually behind the scenes stuff from the day. I'm not going to show anything else, like rehearsals or anything, because it's not mine to do that. I look very annoyed all the time on it, and it's just because I'm concentrating. There are some bits where I am genuinely annoyed, 
but and you probably will be able to tell those apart from the concentration ones. But um, we had we were as I said we were pressed for time, so there was no time to relax. Only annoyedness and concentration and whatever. But yeah, enjoy this. things have happened and um, basically we've had a power cut which is caused by the heating the heating is malfunctioning which is like the worst time of year for it to happen so um, basically we're kind of living in cold at the moment and we're using the hob and the oven to keep us warm in the kitchen I've also had a last-minute um, job interview today basically I went to bed about half five in the morning because I was having to stop and make sure the electricity was working for when my dad woke up so I went to bed around half five, six-ish, and um, I got woken up at 7.45 being told, I've got you an interview, this is my dad, he just called me and said, oh yeah, I found this place, they blah blah blah, and uh, I've just had it, and um, they've got me on a trial run, so that means I might have a job, I hope I do, I like, I like the place actually that they've gone for, but I'm not going to say it, because it's not mine, no. But until if anything else doesn't happen, then I shall bid you a farewell. Next month, I don't know what I'm doing either. So um, that's a fun incentive for you to come back and find out. Next, next month's the finale, so I'm going to be meeting all my friends. I'm going to be trying to spend Christmas as best I can. Christmas is happening, um, I suppose. So yeah, come back, come back for Christmas. There you go, and I shall. Um, I'll see you next month.